What's the thing we should worry about the most? My answer is secret government. This is the famous Washington Post reporter, Bob Woodward, who's made his career publishing government secrets. But today, he could go to jail for publishing government secrets because the Trump administration has issued the first indictment in history charging a publisher for publishing government secrets. That publisher is WikiLeaks' former editor-in-chief, Julian Assange. He now faces life in prison for leaks he published back in 2010 from whistleblower Private Manning that revealed war crimes and government lies. The government says the information was too dangerous to publish, yet can't prove the publications led to a single instance of an individual being harmed. Woodward's executive editor at the Washington Post, Martin Barron, says the indictment of Julian Assange is criminalizing journalism and undermines the very purpose of the First Amendment. Pulitzer Prize winner James Risen told The Post, this is unlike anything we've seen before. This is a serious threat to the future of the country because without a press that's free to shine light on government secrets, democracy dies in darkness. Many have the wrong impression that Assange was simply charged with hacking. The reality is 17 of the 18 counts against Assange are for obtaining and disclosing classified information, like Bob Woodward. The Washington Post's Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Barton Gelman explains, quote, Assange is charged with asking for information, with receiving information, and with publishing information. Those are exactly the things that I do. Because as Woodward teaches in his own online investigative journalism class, You can't cover foreign affairs or intelligence issues and not get into classified information. Hi, I'm Matt Orfala, and this is how the indictment of Julian Assange criminalizes journalism, starring Bob Woodward. I have rarely found a significant story where there isn't a document. Often you can't get it because it's classified, but it's there, and if you can get somebody to assist you, it will indeed help you with your story. Conspiracy to obtain and disclose classified information. The hardest documents are intelligence documents, and I've had them and printed them. Disclosing classified information. Documents rarely just come in the mail out of the blue. You have to go to human beings and say, will you give it to me? You say, come on, let's talk. Let's uh, not be chicken shit about this. Conspiracy to obtain and disclose classified information. You need a human being to give you the documents, unless somebody's going to give you access to their computer. Conspiracy to commit computer intrusions. One thumb drive can contain so much material, and if you can get somebody to plug your thumb drive into their computer, say, at the National Security Agency or the CIA, you could get all kinds of important information. Damn! Yeah, we're just getting started. A man came up to me and said, uh, do you have time to go have coffee? And I said, oh, well, I've got to get back to the paper. I'm really sorry. And he said, well, I work in the White House. I'm in charge of oversight of the CIA. I thought, you know, it turns out I do have time to have coffee. Conspiracy to obtain and disclose classified information. And we did go have coffee. I got to know him, and he helped me on almost countless number of stories. Disclosing classified information. I've had sources on Obama's wars, top secret SCI information, it's the most sensitive information in the government. I take it. Obtaining classified information. And my supposition is I'm going to use it. Disclosing classified information. When the Americans raided Bin Laden's compound, they took away his books by an investigative reporter, Bob Woodward. Oh, shit. He has a lot of very top secret intelligence in there, code words for war games and so forth, which supposedly are sensitive. Is that legal? 
Well, what is it you think we do here for a living, kid? Conspiracy to obtain and disclose classified information. And I went to the intelligence chiefs and said, I've got this, and they did not want me to publish it. And I said, I would think about it. Disclosing classified information. Somebody told me that King Hussein was on the CIA payroll. Obtaining classified information. We found out the secret arrangement that we were selling arms to Iran. Obtaining classified information. The story ran across the front page. Disclosing classified information. Let's get folks' uh, comments or questions. Uh, go ahead. I, you know, I, I used to be a defense con work at a defense contractor, so I, you know, had a secret clearance. And stuff. Call me. Email me. <laughs> Conspiracy to obtain and disclose classified information. I found out there's a secret report from the intelligence division. Obtaining classified information. What do you call it when you publish the secret meetings of the National Security Council? You, you call it uh, disclosure. <laughs> Good reporting. Disclosure of classified information. Also known as Good Reporting. Bob Woodward has obtained and disclosed so many government secrets that he can laugh about a time when the director of the CIA, Bill Casey, threatened to put him in jail for it. At one point, Casey said, you're printing too many secrets in your newspaper. We're going to prosecute you. We're going to send you to jail. But it's no longer a laughing matter. If the Trump administration is successful prosecuting Julian Assange for seeking and sharing information that revealed war crimes, exposed government lies, and didn't harm anyone, it will set a dangerous precedent and the next Bob Woodward may share the same fate. Now there's no doubt the government should worry about keeping some things secret. But what's the thing that we should worry about the most? My answer is secret government. I'm Matt Orfala. Thanks for watching. Government has so much power. It's hidden. It's a very dangerous time. Despite the Trump administration's unprecedented attack on the freedom of the press, to my knowledge, Woodward has not yet commented on the Assange case. Perhaps he's just afraid of upsetting his high-level U.S. intelligence sources. But considering his journalism students may now end up in jail for following his advice, I think it'd be appropriate for him to comment on the most important First Amendment case in modern history. I'm, I'm busy, but not that busy. And so I may Woodward B at washpost.com. Push like you would push anybody else. You say, come on, let's talk. Let's tell the truth. Let's uh, not be chicken shit about this. That best obtainable version of the truth takes priority over everything. Political party, even having a sane personal life. This is a time we're being tested. Let's not kid ourselves. This is the final exam for democracy. Please like and share this video so more people can see it. And by the way, this video is sponsored by nobody. Except my awesome patrons on Patreon. So if you'd like to keep me alive so I can make more videos, please support me on Patreon.